Hi, this is Jay with The Bank Cannabis Genetics, and welcome to Seeds of Knowledge, an ongoing video series dedicated to bringing you, the home grower, tips, tricks, and how-tos from professional cannabis growers. Today, we're gonna to be looking at germinating seeds in soil or soilless mixes. The techniques we learn here today would be the same for a soil or a soilless mix. Today, we are using a soilless mix, so that will affect the pH of the water I'm gonna use for this. We're using cocoa, which has a nice neutral pH, and we're gonna use water with a pH at 6.0. Before I put any seeds in the cocoa, I'm gonna go ahead and get it wet. Um, it's always better to do this before you put the seeds in the media, because once you have the seeds in there, when you, if you pour water on it, you have the risk of them floating back up to the surface. So it's definitely preferable to have your media nice and wet before you get started. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my seed package. Your seeds are contained within the vial in here. We can go ahead and uh, set those out and get them ready to go. Please do hang on to the strain tile in the back of this. It has some nice information for you on flowering time and other information about the genetics of your strain. So I always like to hang on to this to, to know what it is and reference at a later date. Now, before I actually handle my seeds, I do want to put some gloves on. There are natural oils that your body produces that are on your hands that can degrade the seed surface and reduce your germination rates. So please do wear gloves when handling them. If you absolutely must handle them with bare hands, just try to do so as little as possible. Now that I have my gloves on, I do want to prep my media a little further and poke a hole in them. I'm just going to go to my first knuckle here. We want the seed to be about a half to three quarters of an inch deep. So going into your first knuckle is just about the right depth. Make sure you do it right in the very dead center of your pot to give the roots enough room to grow in each direction from where the seed is. Now that I have my pots prepped, I'm going to go ahead and get a seed in each of these holes. I'm going to use my handy dandy little seed scoop here, also known as a pen cap. Take one seed. Put it on there, pop one seed into the hole in each pot. Now that I have a seed in each hole, I'm gonna sort of gently uh, brush some, uh, some of my media in from the outside to make sure that that seed is actually totally covered with my media. I do wanna make sure there is no light getting to these seeds as the presence of UV light will reduce your germination rates. Now that I've got all my seeds potted out, I'm gonna go ahead and tag each pot, make sure I know what strain I'm growing. Now that these are planted out, we can go ahead and just keep this in a nice warm place, high 70s to low 80s. You really don't need any light actually hitting them until the seedlings emerge. In fact, having that light on before the seedlings emerge could theoretically reduce your germination rates if any of that light is actually getting to the seed. Now we should see our seedlings emerge somewhere in 48 to 72 hours after they've been planted. If they don't germinate in that time frame, don't panic. I have seen stubborn seeds take up to seven to 10 days to germinate. Just stick with your plan, be patient, don't throw it away, and hopefully it'll emerge for you. Please check back with us soon for a follow-up video on caring for your seedlings. Thanks for joining us today on Seeds of Knowledge to learn about germinating seeds in soil and soilless mixes. This is Jay with the Bank Cannabis Genetics, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.